everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back. Today I have a fun tutorial for you featuring Trinity Stamps 6x9 Tree of Lights layering stencil set. This stencil set comes with two stencils and you actually get four different layering parts to it plus the star. So I'm going to be using these for Distress Oxides to um, blend in my colors. You can use any type of um, blendable ink you want. It does not need to be this type. So what I'm going to do is line up my stencil to the right hand corner, bottom corner, of my slimline piece of paper. And so then I'm going to come in with a tumbled glass and go over it with my blending brush over the whole stencil. By the way, this background slimline die is from the Slimline Card Series Wonky Stitched Wilderness Die Set, so it comes with a whole bunch of fun dies, but this one is in there. So next I'm doing the same thing, layering it up on the bottom right hand corner, or I should say lining this layering stamp up on that bottom right hand corner, and then I'm going in with my worn lipstick color. And I found it doesn't really matter which you know, which stencil you start with or which color you start with. You can always go back, which you will see I do at the end, and add more color if you want onto um, one of the other ones. You'll see what I mean. So now I am done with that one, and I'm moving on to the second stencil, the first tree, and I'm doing the Twisted Citron, which is a bright green color. And by the way, this uh, cardstock that I'm using is Bristol Smooth cardstock. I really find that that is the best cardstock to use for ink blending. I know there are other out others out there and, and I've tried some of them, but I definitely prefer Bristol Smooth and it's easy to find. It's not like something you have to search for forever to try to find. I find it at my local Hobby Lobby store. And to clean these stencils, when you are done applying the ink, all you have to do is you can wipe it clean with a chamois. Um, you can rinse it over the water in your sink, and it comes right off real easy, real simple. And then I just kind of pat it down and then let it air dry. So now I'm coming in with my last color, which is Squeeze Lemonade, which is a nice... A fun neutral yellow color. It's not greenish. It's not um, too orangish. It's a good yellow. And then I went back in with my pink to color the star that color. I was trying to decide which color I wanted the star. And for that, when you're layering that one on, you just line that star right up onto the top of the top little circle. Um, so that one is not onto the corner of your paper. So there it is, and then I kind of decided I wanted to see more of the blue through, and this is what I was talking about earlier. So I go back in and put it back into place, and by the way, this is the, it's called the Wendy Vecchi Make Art. Um, I like it because you can put everything on it and you can move it around. I like to move things when I color and ink blend, kind of side to side and stuff, So um, and it's magnetized. So I'm putting everything back down and going back in with my blue, and I'm lining it up to the stencil that I originally had when I was putting the blue down. So it's bringing that blue out on top of some of the other colors. And you'll see what that looks like then. And then it's a little bit more blue again. And I was happy with that. So my last step is over my pink. I'm lining it up where the pink one was. And I'm going to take this glimmer paste um, and put it on. So I'm just showing you two different products that I use to apply it. I like using this like frosting spreader, I guess is what you would call it. And you use the back side of it, the flat side, and just smooth it on. You don't want to dig it into any of the openings so you don't um, cause any little gashes in it. You just want to smooth it on on top like you're frosting a cupcake or a cake. And um, the other one that I showed you to the left is great for larger areas or when you're done to kind of smooth it over the top and get all the rest of that glitter off. And there's the big reveal. And this glitter paste, I think most glitter pastes dry really quickly too. And I went in to the star and put that glitter paste on that as well. So this is our final result from ink blending and that glitter paste. And next, I took the sentiment from 
the tremendous, or I should say, tremendous Christmas stamp set, and it's the We Wish You a Merry Christmas sentiment. I stamped that on top of some vellum and centered it over the, um, the bristle smooth cardstock and then matted that on top of this pink dotted cardstock and that is from trinity stamps slimline paper pad autumn rainbow set it's perfect for slimline cards it gives you extra space to um, crop them down if you need it's it's awesome my final step in this card is to add some embellishments, and I am using the Fairy Rocks rhinestones. I'm just using the smallest size in this mix, and what I like to do is just put my little glue dots wherever I think I want to put them, and then after that, I add my embellishments on. I have started doing it that way, and I really prefer it. I hope you enjoyed this card making tutorial, and we'll give layering stencils a try. If you enjoyed watching this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit that notification bell to be notified for more crafty inspiration. Please be sure to like and subscribe to Trinity Stamps YouTube page along with our Facebook page, Imagination, Inspiration, and Conversation. Thank you for watching!